This video is brought to you by Manco.store, a trade site where you can find lots of decent skins and simply anything for TF2 like this 80 bucks score shot. Are you ready to go this far? If so, check the link in the description. I have a pretty big selection of mustache. Yo, what's poppin' everybody? What's poppin'? It's a Russian boy Vorobey here, you know what I'm saying, back with another video. Today's one is gonna be a little experiment. So you know there's a weapon called Scorchot, you know how much people hate it because it's so easy to play with, you just spam the shit across the map and it sets people on fire, does mini crit damage, it's pretty annoying to play against, right? But is it really OP how some people say? It might be annoying to play against, but is it really that good? Because there is, yet again, another weapon that people don't talk about. It's Detonator, which basically does the same shit. You can spam it, you can right click, set people on fire, then do mini crit damage as well. What everybody usually says is that this weapon takes skill to play with, while this one does not. I am pretty confident to say that I'm skilled enough to use Detonator properly, so today what I wanted to do is, I played two games with only score shot, I'm not using flamethrowers, I'm not using melee weapon, and then two other games, I'm using Detonator. And we will figure out if score shot is actually better than Detonator in what it does spamming people. So what matters is damage per minute for each of these weapons. We're gonna play some payload. Thankfully this bad water just started so I'm gonna have two full rounds and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the timer. It is gonna count for how long I'm gonna play on this server and then we're gonna figure out the damage per minute with Scorch Shot first. Of course I'm gonna start with this one. So I start the timer now. Let's get to spamming people. Spam the scout. They're coming this way. First spam shot is successful. Maybe he's even gonna die. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I'm not really sure which idea he had right there. Running right into the pipe. Holy fuck! <laughs> Why did it launch him so far? He's also using Scorch Shot. Look at that bitch. How bad is he? Oh yeah, I can I can do this at least. Get back here, medic. I'm gonna extinguish you. Yeah, I can still be a team player, alright? I can't really set people on fire with flamethrower, but I can extinguish my teammates, so that's good. You know, at that point I would burn that soldier with detonator already, because you can explode that shit in the air. Well, this thing should connect with the surface, so that's that's a disadvantage of Scorch Shot to detonator, right there. You should spam it from high ground, while well, detonator works from lower ground as well because you can right click at any time people underestimate it I am somehow top scoring with uh, two kills so yes this weapon is definitely working it's pretty pretty annoying how people were mocking Scorch Shot back in the day but not really that much but as soon as some big youtuber made a video about it calling it OP yeah and overall uh, a BS weapon to play with all the people jump into this fucking bandwagon of score shot hate. It's it's honestly very annoying when there's a YouTuber saying something and then all the people start this massive fucking shitstorm about score shot, about sniper being OP. Nobody was talking about that shit previously, like two years ago, and now it's everywhere. It's fucking everywhere, I swear. And it it is bad. It's just a little disclaimer. I never want you people that are watching my videos say something about stuff just because I said that about it. You know, I'm playing with different weapons that are shit, like Backscatter for example, it's not a good weapon. I only played it for fun. I made a video about it for fun and I called the video, is it good actually? Is it actually viable? <laughs> no, no it's not. It's fucking not better than stock scatter gun. Yeah, Backscatter sucks, Babyface Blaster sucks. But it still can be fun. That's the point of my videos. I just use these weapons for fun. Don't take it seriously, right? And this video as well. Like, this experiment is only for fun. It's not gonna be accurate. Because this match right here, we're destroying them. The next match I'm gonna play, maybe will get destroyed. So, the situations vary a lot. So, yeah. Just a little, a little casual rant while playing with this shit because I don't know what to command here, <laughs> pretty much. Because all I do is just left click right there. Maybe setting some snipers on fire, I don't know. Top-notch gameplay, that's what it is. But I died to a body shot. 
He has a fucking dictator! You see, it's a lot more difficult to burn people from this point, because they're on top. It's pretty difficult to hit the ground with it. Detonator would definitely be more successful at this point of the map, while spamming over there. But no one fucking cares. Score shot is still worse. Yeah, they're getting fucking owned. <laughs> right here. Oh, please, get me some heals. We have lots of medics. Please, at least one of them. <laughs> nah. They say Scorched Pyro does not deserve any healing. That's the reality we live in. He has Uber? <laughs> Dude, you should not Uber me. I'm not gonna do anything. I can only use this. <laughs> I'm useless. Oh no, he fucking oobs me. He's probably waiting for me to use the <laughs> flamethrower, but I can't. He did not know. Oh, that crit. And I'm out of ammo. Spam me the ammo pack, please. Right fucking now, yes. How many times did I die? Only once. Alright, that's cool. I can actually get some doms doing this. Easy. Run, soldier. I gotcha. I gotcha. I got two doms, <laughs> holy fuck! <laughs> Three! <laughs> Three fucking doms! Dude, you don't even have to play Pyro, really. All you gotta do is just doing this, and it dominate people. Alright, timer stopped. It was 8 minutes 37 seconds, and my damage is 3198 for this round. But of course, we have round number two. Oh yeah, and of course I'm gonna compare different maps. It's not gonna be Bedwater only, so we play Two full rounds of Batwater with Scorch Shot and Detonator, then we move to maybe High Tower, we play that, and then maybe even third map. Alright, anyway, the timer starts here. And I'm probably gonna die now. I run. What if I go in? But should I even do that? Not in this case, I think. That's not the idea, you know. I should not flank, I should spam. That's what matters today. Get me some heals, Doc. Alright, we got it. And some ammo now. Oh yeah, spam the tunnel. Just imagine if I could also reflect all those rockets. Just imagine what... What would happen to all these people. I professionally dodged that rocket. That would've killed me if I didn't jump. But yeah. Med pick, and a crit. That's what I wanna see. Medic, don't uber me, I'm, I'm a bit disabled, okay? I can only use Scorch Shot. Are they not gonna see him? He's still not dying. They have no idea that he's, he's there! <laughs> Wait, what the f- What the fuck? Can you arrow me? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, fuck! Sentry's still not dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep everything. We gotta take the sentry down, though. I just... I just killed the fucking heavy like that. Just imagine. And this soldier that never learns. Get out of my way, I need to run. <laughs> How are we still not winning this? Look at all these people, they're supposed to be destroyed instantly. But they live and die to Scorch Shot. Okay, I, I have no fucking idea what's going on anymore. I got I got five doms. <laughs> I got five doms for playing like this. I don't know man. The OP position of this map. The goddamn high ground for a pyro with a scorch shot. It's powerful. You just spam right there. Where they leave the spawn. And yeah. You're good to go. Die. And a crit. Oh, oh my god, that was fucking... <laughs> that was terrible. I don't want to die to this bitch ass spy. But I won't. Because... Scorch shot. Did you die? Yep, would you look at that? 
I am top scoring. Having 25 kills to deaths. Alright, maybe it is OP. Maybe it is OP as fuck, I have no idea. <laughs> I legit have no idea, I did not expect this outcome. But, obviously, as you can see, yeah, it's real. Hey, it looks pretty bad for them. It is happening. Let's cap it. Alright, the game is over. This one was going for 8 minutes 14 seconds. And the damage is 3574. I top damage. Almost. <laughs> there is a soldier out damaging me. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? It's really awesome. It's Badwater again. So we're playing exact same map with almost exact same people. But this time, it's of course gonna be Detonator. Let's see. And the timer starts. Alright, you see? I set two people on fire. So it works. Where are they? Okay, I got somebody. <laughs> I got a scout. I don't really see that many of them. They're just dying, left and right. So yeah, that's why it is not gonna be accurate enough. Because this game might be very different to the previous one. But we don't care about that. We're getting pushed from behind. I just noticed. And the caber guy is in. <laughs> he wants me. Yeah, nice. Alright, that was pretty good. That was decent damage right there. Holy fuck, that's a lot of them. I better stay out. Dude, I swear to god, he's... He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me once. Oh, the crit. He's gonna extinguish him, yeah. But that was satisfying. He just keeps jumping into my fucking flares. <laughs> get him, dog. Get him. He beefs. He beefs. Alright, now I'm gonna show it to you. If somebody's gonna be on that hill, it's gonna be so much easier for me to set them on fire. Look at that. I got that medic. There's not really that many people up there, so yeah. They're just staying in this choke, so it makes it pretty easy to spam. And they die. I have no idea how they die to that. Just retreat and get the fucking elf back or something. I don't know. <laughs> There's even a, <laughs> a dispenser right next to you. How do you die? You now understand the reason why I decided to go with damage per minute, right? Not with the uh, amount of kills or something, but damage per minute. Because there is a pirate that is extinguishing all of them. Right now. And in the previous game, he was not there. So yeah, I can't really kill that many people as I did before, but... I can still damage them. Pretty well. There's a the guy. They have the Uber. They're gonna go in, but he drops the soldier. And he Ubers the sniper. What else can he do? And Uber Sniper dies. <laughs> that is so sad. What the fuck is wrong with this scout, man? For real, what's wrong with this fucking guy? <laughs> he gotta fucking die, thank god. It definitely does not feel as satisfying as playing with Scorch Shot. That's for sure. It's pretty cool to set them on fire like that, just exploding the flare right next to them, but it does not feel as good, if you know what I mean. But still, I do believe the damage is very decent. Yeah, it's above 5,000, even though this game was going for so much longer than the previous one, but who cares. It's TPM, it's the scout again, that really loves running into pyros, and he's gonna pay for that. And we won. Let's top the timer. 12 minutes 33 seconds. 5,895 damage. I'm gonna count the entire- Oh shit, okay. Yeah. Why not? My game just fucking crashed. And we start immediately. Run. Run. Now it's all about spamming. 
that pirate is gonna extinguish everybody. He, he kinda knows how to play this game, right? He looks like one. And this fucking scout is still... <laughs> These two scouts, man! And look at this. Seems pretty familiar, right? But with a different weapon. But it's exactly the same! It does good damage. Look at that shit. Oh man, where's the healer? Healer! Please, Doc. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, I missed the crit. Feels bad. It's all about knowing how to play with this weapon. Anyway. Like, people died to it. But, yeah, of course, I agree that it's more difficult to use than Scorch Shot, that's for sure. But anyway. It is still very, very spammable. This fucking guy is really crazy. And they're also dying to it. <laughs> oh fuck, Bison. It might crit me easily. He just runs at me! Okay, we're... we're Ubered. Are we gonna do anything with it? Probably not, we... How the fuck did everybody die when they were Ubered? Burn you bitches, burn all of ya! All of ya! I wanna dump this scout so much! Like, so much! I swear to god! 3, 2, 1... And it's over! Let's see, stop the timer! 11 minutes, 32 seconds, 6,617 damage. Now, we gotta count this. Alright, I did the calculations. This actually surprised me a fucking lot right now. I even rechecked a few times to make sure that I counted it right. But yeah, there is no mistake. These are the numbers. As you can see, I did a lot more damage with Detonator than I did with Scorch Shot. It's literally damage per minute, so it does not matter that I played much longer in the second game. The spam factor of Detonator in this match was a lot stronger, so I... yeah, this is, this is fucking facts right there. You can't complain about facts. Detonator did more damage, that's all I can say, I did absolutely same fucking thing, I was spamming people, doing nothing else, I was just setting them on fire, and it worked better than Scorch Shot. So yeah, cry about score shot more. Now let's play some high tower. All right, cool. I found a high tower server that is playable. I don't see bots. Start the timer. Let's go score shot people. It's also round one, yeah, yeah. So we have quite a lot of time to play here. By the way, you might say that, but how did you kill so many more people with score shot in that Badwater game? You got five domes and shit. Well, basically because. In the second game, the teams were a lot more balanced. <laughs> That's the reason, not because Scorch Shot is better. So it does not fucking matter in the end, alright? What matters is the damage. That's good. There's so many fucking sentries though. But you know what? It, it's really spammable right there. I can farm damage on that, <laughs> on that dispenser. And on them. And those people sitting next to it, so... You see? This is a lot easier for me to play right now, because I can just spam the corner and get damage non-stop. You can't do that that successfully with Detonator, right? Right? Well, we will see. I don't want to fight you, Pyro. All I want to do is... <laughs> right. <laughs> I am gonna kill this spy, though. This spy is definitely someone I fuck with. Run. Run, spy. <laughs> Okay, seriously now, this is literal, endless damage farming, right here. They're sitting right there, not moving anywhere. We gotta get on top of the tower, the best way to spam them. It's probably gonna die, yes. Oh yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is so good. And we're capping. Please don't cap, please. I need some more statistic. Oh, he's fucking dead. Yeah, that was disgusting. Alright, now, there is no fucking way 
I'm gonna do more damage with detonator. If I do though, if I do, you can't ever complain about score shot. Look at that, I'm I'm honestly just terrifying the entire server with this shit. Look at it. You gotta be so weak that pyro. But I go for this demo man. I can't fight a pyro like that. You can air blast this shit. That's a tone worthy, that's for sure. Yes. Talk <laughs> Toxic! Wow, you can't You can taunt in this game. If you taunt, if you use the in-game mechanic of taunting, you're toxic. The damage is underwhelming. It's been almost 9 minutes and it's only 3,400. It's bad. But this map is not that spammable as uh, Payload, of course. Payload has lots of people stuck at one point, in chokes usually. I would probably not even play the entire map of High Tower with Scorch Shot. It's gonna be one round with it, and then the second round with Detonator. Bitch ass, he was there. He was sitting there. I somehow killed a demo man. <laughs> Have you noticed how much more toxic Hightower is? This is literally the first server of Hightower for today, and there are people already complaining about fucking everything. This map, dude. This is. Why <laughs> it's my favorite map. Okay, here. Here as well. Ah, ne never mind, he's gonna die like that, yeah. Whatever, dude. This is it. Stop the timer. 13 minutes, 20 seconds, the damage is 4825. Now, we're switching to Detonator for the second round. He's dead. They're fucking everywhere. They're on top, they're on the ground. What can I do? Okay, I gotta stay back from these fucking crazy scouts. <laughs> they cannot help themselves, but they gotta get their revenge. Oh yeah, he's counting total damage that I did this entire match, so I'm gonna just, you know, extract previous number from this one, from the total one. Obviously. I'm doing it right, don't worry. It definitely feels a lot less powerful than with the Scorch Shot when I'm playing like this. I need demo scout. Do you think I'm not gonna kill you? I am. I had an unfair advantage previously with spamming people that are sitting in the corner, but now I gotta kill you. Oh, I dominated this Pyro. That's cool. <laughs> Cringe. Do we seriously have to write something in the fucking chat every time you die? Yeah, as you can see, I don't really have that many people to spam anymore. They're just hiding somewhere all the time. But I'm still somehow fucking killing them anyway. Oh, I'm gonna farm you. I just need this ammo and, uh... What a big cringe! You're killing friendlies! Shake my head. I don't give a fuck, this is all for research. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna farm you like I farmed that heavy in the corner previously, so... Sorry, it's for... It's all for science! Do you think I'm not gonna bully you? I am. Oh, and I... And I also dominate another cookie player from this team. Awesome. Both edgy people are dominated by me. Three versus... Like, seriously, shut the fuck up! Stop playing this game! For five minutes, take a fucking break, stop writing that shit in the chat, nobody wants that. Fucking hell, dude. He literally complains every time he dies, that's so bad. T-posing heavies to spam, okay, I'm, I'm taking those. Every time, 24-7, I'm shooting those. It's for the research, yet again. They're testimonies. I'm not being an asshole. When I'm a sign science man. I forgot how to call that. Scientist! <laughs> Scientist! Yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> You're gonna jump down, 
and right into my flare. Why? Why do they do it? Why the fuck are they doing it? I have no clue, dude. We gotta be pushing the card though, this game gotta end. I mean, I can stop the, the thing at any point. I don't really have to finish this game, but I won. Because I do believe these people are gonna be mad about me capping, so I'm doing that. There are actually two ends for it. First one is keeping the card, and second one is getting kicked by my team. So maybe if I say something in the chat, they will not like it. Hey guys, can you help me pushing the card, please? He says I. Alright. That's good. That's good to know. Kill the Spyro and push the card. Yes. We do it now. There's Huntsman Sniper. There's Heavy. Heavy on the card. <laughs> fuck, no ammo. Another guy complains. Nobody gives a fuck that you don't have ammo, dude. Nobody cares. I don't give a fuck how you died. What was your problem? I don't want any of that, you know. Loser again, spawn. Fuck it. There gotta be a sniper. Oh yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Fucking force snatcher scout. Nah! <laughs> There's still Pyro on top. Do it, Pyro. Do it. <laughs> we did it. Okay, stop the timer. Quick. <laughs> 11 minutes, 44 seconds. The damage is 994. We should cut that first game out of this number to see how much damage I did. These. These people call others tryhards and toxics. This is seriously insane. I still managed to do more damage with Detonator than with Scorch Shot, even in this fucking high tower server. Even though I was spamming people that were standing still with Scorch Shot a lot right there. You, you've seen that yourself. 362 DPM with Scorch Shot and 364 DPM with Detonator. So yeah, second game in a row, Detonator is simply better in spamming than Scorch Shot. I decided to play one more map, it's gonna be CTF Double Cross, also a very spammable map, I can just see it on that balcony and shoot people that leave the spawn. I'm probably not gonna leave all the game in the video just because, you know, the video is already long, but I wanna say something. There are probably gonna be people complaining about Scorch Shot even though it did less damage, they're gonna be saying something like, dude, but this weapon also stuns you in the air, it has a knockback. Dead Nether does not... Fuck, I, I forgot to start the timer. Real quick, come on. Where is it? Yeah, I'm running it. I did 55 damage. Alright, yes, it does have a, a knockback thing. Which is pretty difficult to pull off, honestly. You should hit the guy that is already burning. You know, it's not that easy to do. That's first. And second of all, let's remember loose cannon, okay? It does. More damage than stock, it does more damage than fucking Iron Bomber. Pipes do 100 damage, while with a loose cannon you can do 130 or something like that. And, at the same time, it's gonna launch the guy off the fucking map, it's gonna launch him kilometers away. Why does nobody complain about that one, huh? Don't you think it's kind of hypocritical, nah? Loose cannon literally launches people all over the map if you hit them with a double dong. And it does more damage than stock grenade launcher. But you know why nobody complains about that? I have an explanation. Because grenade launcher is more consistent. Hitting pipes is more consistent than hitting double dongs. Hitting double dongs is pretty difficult and to master it you gotta play a lot, a lot, while you'll still have a better outcome with a, with a pipe. And this is the same fucking thing. Alright, scorch shot, yes, it spams, it knocks people back, but it's not as consistent as Detonator, at least for me, because I know how to use that fucking weapon. It's just a little another rant, because in the end, it did not make any difference. Detonator was still better, even though, yes, I could launch people away, I could stun them in the air. It still was worse, even with this mechanic. And yeah, please remember, Detonator also has a possibility to do really good jumps with it. That's also a huge advantage of it that Scorchot does not have. 
Yeah, you can do a jump with Scorchet as well, but it's gonna be pretty shitty. While with Detonator, you can climb heights, you know. This is a very good spam from this shit. But I need a health bag. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Scorch Shot kills more people. I don't know. It's just the same thing as with, let's say, Dire Hit. Some people also say that Dire Hit is pretty OP. When in reality, it's not. It's not even close to be as good as Stock Rocket Launcher. It's all about big damage. You will do more damage with Rocket Launcher just because you can bomb people. You can't really bomb with uh, Dire Hit. You just fucking can't. Rocket Launcher, it destroys a big mass of people if you jump into them. While Dire Hit is more like peak weapon. You, you shoot one person and you kill him. Yeah, it might do more damage. If you hit a guy, while in the match you're still gonna do less damage overall with Dire Head than you do with Rocket Launcher, just because of good old splash, you know what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to say is that to fully understand if the weapon is OP or not, it's not enough to read the stats of this weapon, it's not enough to know what it does. You gotta play the fucking game and play a lot, and only then you gotta make your conclusion. I didn't have my own conclusion, I honestly thought that Scorch Shot would absolutely destroy Detonator and <laughs> when I did this experiment, yeah, I proved myself wrong. I read these, yeah. 5 minutes, 50 seconds. 2124. Let's go, I started the timer. Let's spam him. I'm probably gonna play for 5 minutes because I have a feeling this... This server is not gonna end. It's been going for a while already, and it's only 1 0. So, I'm gonna spam for 5 minutes and then I leave. <laughs> because I'm tired of doing this. <laughs> the entire. <laughs> the entire fucking day. Look at how consistent I am with setting people on fire with Detonator. I do it almost every time. And I die. I died, I'm losing my time, I'm losing 15 seconds. Well, I didn't die with Scorch Shot. So I'm having advantage yet again. They got the crits. I might die again, so I better stay away. Oh god. Are they not? They're not chasing me. Set the medic on fire too. This one. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, he he can't die, it's a fucking tank. Maybe we're gonna lose this map. Don't eat the spam pipe. Just stay away. And keep doing the thing. Keep calm and spam. Yeah, we are gonna lose, because their team has, wow, a crit, and I died again, by the way. That's all I can do, sit in spawn and just spam them before we lose. And I stop the timer. 3 minutes, 50 seconds. 1745. I died twice, so I lost about 30 seconds. Keep that in mind. I did the mathematics again, and yeah, Detonator is better. Three games in a row. It does the thing that people hate Scorch Shot for better than Scorch Shot. Some crybabies might still shit on my experience saying that three games is not enough to make a conclusion. I don't fucking care. I had equal spam possibilities in every game from this video, it does not matter which weapon I used, so it's as unbiased as it is possible. I also don't give a shit which weapon to play with, honestly, I, I can make everything work. What I fucking hate though is bitching. So you can use this video as a, as a debunk, as a proof, or maybe it'll make you use a Daynator more often. Or hopefully you simply enjoyed uh, watching me spam flares for 30 minutes straight. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe for more weekly content. Help me hitting 50k subs before the end of the summer and I'll definitely make something very special for you for that milestone. That's it for today though, have an amazing day everybody and see ya in the next video. Peace.